Hey guys, it's M Beans and welcome to my channel or welcome back. One guess as to what theme of island we are visiting today, which I guess you have seen in the thumbnail and the description, but we are on a 90s slash Y2K nostalgic kid core city island. I have been dying to see this. This island is done by carrot cake underscore ACNH on Instagram. I will link all of her socials in the description. She also has the cutest little map that I'm going to put on the screen. The map is done by upside down days and opal tide dot crossing. I guess they work together to create this amazing map. I cannot wait for the nostalgic vibes of this island. I was born in 1994, but a lot of people in our community I know can enjoy all of the nostalgic vibes here. So this is Dabtopia. Carrot Cake has a theme of putting Dab in all of her island names, which I love. Her previous islands were named New Dab City and Dab Isle. So let's get this tour going. I love that we have a rainbow going. So here we have Carrot Cake's map of Dabtopia. This is Carrot Cake. This is Raggedy Ann. She lives in a tent, which I'm super excited to show you guys. And then, of course, we have some very lovely Kid Core villagers. Pietro, Stitches, Phoebe, Tipper, Teddy, Sid, Candy, Carrie, Tabby, and, of course, Joey. No Kid Core Island can be complete without at least one of these villagers from this awesome lineup. So I love all the straight lines here. Like I said, this is going to be a city core, kid core island. So a quick description from the island creator. She said, when she started this island, she knew she wanted to do a kid core city. As she started decorating and gathering custom designs, it slowly turned into a nostalgic glimpse into memories of her childhood. She hopes you are able to stroll down memory lane as you explore the streets of Dabtopia. So she left us some fun gifts by Resident Services when you wake up. I already put them on, but she also gave us some other things. I think we'll go with the pinwheel for now and let's go ahead and get right into this tour. So right away, we have this cute little city entrance check out the rainbow in the background it's looking so good and if you look closely you can see an ant such a cute little detail so here we have the elementary school I kind of I know that's for decoration but I kind of want to try it on we might as well wear it on our kid core journey I usually go to resident services and work my way that way. But I think we'll check out the beach right here by the school. We need to finish checking out the entire school. I didn't notice it actually continues over here. We have a little activity table here. This is so cute. Stitches is here to join us in class. The schoolyard is so cute. Let's check out what is up here. We have some lockers. I love the TY Beanie Baby sticker, of course. I love the music all around this island. And up here we have a cafeteria. What do we have to eat? Oh, we have some maracas. Those could come in handy. So this is the cafeteria and that was the locker room. So now we are headed to the classroom. This very cute and colorful classroom. Oh, I love the little area on the blanket over here. Just like in school. 
You could go sit on the blanket or the comfy chair and read some books. And then we have the teacher's desk on the bottom left. So much detail has gone into this and the paths had to have taken literally forever. We have the retro TV stand going on. Just like I remember school. But right here we have Pietro's party store. How cute is this? Let's say hi to Carrot Cake. She says, yo dabba dabba. Oh, and we have a giant sand castle over here, you guys. This is so creative. I have never seen such a thing. A literal sand castle made out of castle walls. Guys, this is incredible. So heading back this way, this is a beach breakfast spot here. You can have some pancakes on the beach or some Lucky Charms. Look how cute. This is so awesome. I am loving this tour so far. All of the details with the codes. I know finding a ton of codes is so hard and picking between all of the hundreds or thousands that there are for KidCore is very difficult. So here we have bike parking for the school. I did skip over this the first time, but this is such a cute space filler for KidCore and of course very fitting for the school. Looks like we have a crosswalk and parent drop off here as well. Now we are heading towards the city playground and Stitches is coming with us. This is so fun and playful. I love it. Across the street from the city playground is the railroad tracks. We have a train going into a cave here. And if we come right here to the beach, oh, this is too cute. We have our crab in our little thyroid wrapping up some packages for, of course, the lovely Nook's Cranny. Now if we continue on this very detailed pathway. Oh, I just love these baby chairs. They squeak when you sit on them. You guys, if you watched my U-Core video, you would see that I have baby fever like no one's business. I love this. This is making me really want a baby even more. Kidcore is so fun. So here we have resident services. I love the little baby trees here. She has just used so much details. Oh, and look at the little froggy chairs by the literal carrot cake, which is her name. And we have our little road here. Can sit and have some grape juice. This is so fun. If we follow this back here, we will find the soccer field. And we have some dope music over here by the soccer field. How fun. To the left of the soccer field, we have the basketball court. This is all behind the school that you saw at the beginning of the video. To the left of the school in the basketball court, we are going to find some villager homes. This is Tipper's house, the little farm. And Tipper is home so we get to see the inside of her house. Look at the little Furby sticker on the fridge, guys. I 
Love it. She also has the cutest little bedroom in the back. And look at the TY Beanie Baby tag on the stuffed animal. I love it. And outside of Tipper's house is leading us to Teddy's house. We have some beach volleyball here. And let's check out Teddy's yard. Okay, tell me why I did not know about putting custom designs on the clothesline. I guess I've never paid attention to that. But that is so cute. Look at all the tie-dye. Unfortunately, Teddy is not home, so we can't see the inside. But the next house we have is Joey's. Joey has a huge yard back here. And he is located behind the post office. And of course has a little duck pond on her peninsula dedicated just for him. And Teddy is here for a visit. How cute. Now let's go inside. I'm so happy that Joey is home because his house is so adorable. Look at the little duck in the sky that looks just like him. This is definitely the definition of what Joey's house would actually look like. Check out this little enclave where she has put his bed, like a little bedroom. It's so cute. This is perfect. And here we have the post office, which is in front of Joey's house. So now we are going to head to the back of the island, past the villager homes, and to the bridge. Coming across the bridge, we have ran into Lloyd's Guy Royd's shop with a little Brewstroid and the Squeakoid on the top. My two favorite Guy Royds in the game. How cute. So let's go to Graffiti Bridge. Oh my gosh. Wow. This is so creative. I've never seen anything like this before. Wow, that was fun. And let's head back here to the campsite. We have some bugs over here on our way. This is actually Raggedy Ann's tent and I have been so excited to show you guys what is inside. Here she is right here, and no, I don't want to play with you because Annabelle is actually a Raggedy Ann doll, and if you have not seen The Conjuring or the Annabelle series, you need to watch them because they are terrifying and you would know why we don't want to play. But for the sake of Kid Core, let's hope the inside of her house is not scary like The Conjuring. And let's go check it out. Here we have it. The cutest little Raggedy Ann tent. All of the details that she fit in this tiny little space. Even the little book on the maple leaf chair. And of course we have a baby museum back here. I love all the tree standees, making it look like a true little forest. So let's head back across Graffiti Bridge because I jumped the gun and we were supposed to go this way after checking out the campground. But check out this lovely view now of the circus. I honestly can't believe that I can get this kind of view here. She has set this up so perfectly. I do not have a wide angle capabilities. 
but this looks like a wide angle photo of the circus. This is so fun. We have some cotton candy for us to head to the circus. I just can't get over all of the details of this circus. The layering had to have taken absolutely forever. Just look at all of the details. I can't even capture all of it. And some little carnival games over here. I wish I was here in real life. So next we are headed to Blockbuster. This is so nostalgic. The blue sirens are perfect. Even the box of chocolates on the ground in the Mountain Dew because you could get some very overpriced, expensive snacks inside of Blockbuster as well. It's just crazy to think that it was such a huge thing and then it just went away. There is only one Blockbuster left and I believe they made it into an Airbnb. Behind the Blockbuster, we come to a drive-in movie theater. Sid is here to welcome us in. I wonder what is playing at the drive-in. Wow. This is so creative. Look at the concession stand. I have never seen anyone make a drive-in theater before. If it's been done, I just haven't seen it, and I just think this is so cool. We have the lawn chairs. Wow. Heading out of the drive-in, we are headed into the wrestling arena, you guys. The amount of things back here. This island is so cool, you guys. And it looks like we have her secret beach back here as well. I love the little mannequin. Oh, I should have brought this in there. I missed it. Love it. All right, next up, we are headed up here. This is the neighborhood. And first off, we have the community pool. This is such a kid-friendly community pool. It's an infinity pool. Look at all of the colors. And then we move into the neighborhood, the extremely colorful neighborhood. Here we have Sid's house. He is not home. But it's nestled in the fruit trees back here. Super cute. And next up we have Phoebe's house. There is so much attention to detail here. Here we have the inside of Phoebe's house. Again, has the cutest little enclave for the bedroom. I love this style. Next, we have Stitches' house. Stitches is not home. He was roaming around the island earlier. But we have some cute little bears here to keep us company in Stitches' yard. Next is Carrie's house. Carrie is also not home. And to the left of Carrie, we have Tabby's house. Very gardeny and lots of butterflies and bees. We have more butterflies inside. And I'm so happy that Tabby has found a human to love her. 
ugly little face. I guess it's a face that you can come to love. I love this little like apartment. It gives me such apartment vibes. So cute. I wish my actual house looked like this. And next we have Pietro. I am so here for Pietro's interior. It is exactly what you would think a clown's house looks like. But it's so aesthetic. I love every inch of this place. All of the colors. I was over here wondering what that sound was. And it's a wheel behind the bed. But I love it. It's so perfect. And that is something I would have never thought to do. How cute. And the last villager house we have is Candy's. We have some laundry going on in Candy's yard. And this is the front of the neighborhood. So as we exit the neighborhood, we come out to the street by the canal and we have a Toys R Us. Aw, and looks like we're taking baby shopping for some toys. She almost looks like the giraffe mascot that's on the flag in the bag. That was too cute. I wish I snapped a picture. We have some parking and a Toys R Us truck in the parking lot as well as some shopping carts with the giraffe on it. And let's check out all the toys over here. We can go shopping for ourselves. I see the little Furby. All of the Beanie Babies. And the Barbies, the robots. How fun. I never want to leave this island, you guys, but I know that if you come this way, we are going to find ourselves a Chuck E. Cheese. Pictures have not done this island justice. I've seen pictures of it, and I did not expect this level of awesomeness, you guys. Like, it's just so awesome. Look at Chuck E. over there. He's even on the kid's shirt. She put his logo on everything. And she left some tickets around. So this is must be the ticket booth. You could even get some pizza. Chuck E. Cheese has some pizza they're known for, which is not that great. But I remember always getting it. And this is the spot where you would eat it. And all of the games. So this is like the exact inside of a Chuck E. Cheese. If you have never been to one, I'm not sure if they have them outside of America, but this is exactly it, you guys. We have a pizza oven area behind the register where they're making the pizzas, some arcade games, and I see the stage over here on the beach. I cannot wait to see. We need to go see. Passing this cute little picnic area on the way. Oh, and here we have this stage. If you've never been to a Chuck E. Cheese, the mascot Chuck E. comes out. I don't know how often, maybe every hour or every 30 minutes. And he will come out on a stage and dance or sing. I don't really remember. But... This looks just like it. I definitely used to be terrified of Chucky the mouse. Is that even his name? I don't even know at this point. I'm pretty sure his name is Chucky Cheese because that's the name of the restaurant, play place, whatever you want to call it. But I was always terrified of any kind of mascot where I couldn't see their face. That was always terrifying for me. And I'm still kind of scared of them. Just a little bit. Just kind of takes me back. Like, I, I need to see your face. Feels weird. 
but let's come up the beach and we will find a game center back here. I love all the little lounging areas along the beach. Simple but colorful. Oh, and I found the game center. We have lots of games here. The giant Game Boys in the back are everything. I had the purple one when I was a kid. The Game Boy Color. Here we are back at Chuck E. Cheese to Bubble Boulevard. And let's take a stroll on down Bubble Boulevard to our next destination. How fun. Ice cream. For the ice cream shop right here. Gotta love some ice cream. Let's head across the bridge to find Able Sisters. So many cute kids clothing to choose from. All of the colors again. So lovely. We are here behind Resident Services. And our final stop is the Rec Center, a.k.a. Carrot Cake's House. Let's go inside. So we first enter into the library. So well done, you guys. And let's head to the back. Here we have Mario's room. So fun. Here we have the activity room. Aw, and an ice cream shop. Upstairs is the daycare or nursery. I love the little cribs and the squeakoids. Oh, how cute is that? And the matching high chairs. And downstairs, we have an alien disco hangout. What a cool basement for the rec center. So that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much to Carrot Cake for having me. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. It helps a lot. I am super close to a thousand subscribers, which I will try to do a good giveaway when that happens. I want to thank all of you who are already subscribed. I appreciate you guys so much. It makes me feel so loved and special that I have come this far. I hope this video has brought you some joy. And again, thank you for watching. I hope you have a lovely day and I will see you in the next one.